this activity. For today's session, we are going to learn about a series circuit design. So we will discuss the process and also the things that we need to do in performing this kind of activity. To begin with, let us first gather all the materials that we need. We have here the electrical tape, pliers, if you have it there, scissor, uh, a cutter, also a switch. We have here the battery holder. Well, of course, we have two batteries, two AA batteries, and also two lamp bulbs with bulbs already attached in the lamp holder and also wires all right so this will serve as our conductor or conducting material for our source connecting to the to the bulbs all right so just make sure that the end points of the wires are already strapped off using a cutter or scissor or the pliers so the scissor and also the cutter will serve as a replacement if the you can if you're having a hard time using the pliers because there are wires that are small so you can either choose or either use a cutter or a scissor so just be careful in using this take extra precautions but it's important to ask assistance from uh, anyone else there at home who make things organized and also don't forget to cut a small pieces of the wires also for about three inches long and then make sure that the end points of the wires with the, op with the opposite sides are stripped up already. Same here with your wires. Make sure that the, the, the end points are already uncovered. Alright, so you can measure for about 10, 12 or 6 inches for this depending on your preference. It depends on you. Also, if you have a um, screwdriver available at home or available there you can also use it to unscrew the screws here in your bulb holder and also the switch so we can now start doing our series circuit and your circuit would look like this this is your series circuit design so as you can see we have here the connecting wire coming from your source connecting to your bulb here and also your other connecting wire from your source are going to your other bulbs. Alright, so don't worry if uh, there are, we are using two black wires here, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you can also use red wires for this one and black wires for this one for the polarity of the conductors. We have here the source, okay, so also you have the bulbs here. So this is called a series circuit design with two loads. So first thing that we're going to do is to connect the one, the wires there, going to, your, to the screw on the right side and then the uncovered wire going to the left screw. So let's connect them. Make sure that the, you use um, this screw screwdriver to unscrew the, the screws here in your bulb holder.
all right or you have to connect the wires here connecting wires to from the right side of the screw connecting to the left screw here in the other light bulb or lamp holder okay um, connect these wires there's uh, two wires here and points of the wire to the available screws on the other side okay you just have to connect it from here and then this one this side okay let's do this Okay, so we already have connected the wires from here to there. Okay, connecting wires. And then for the next step, we are now going to connect these wires here going to the available wires from your battery holder. So you just have to connect both of them to its respective wires. So here's the positive side of the bulb holder and then you just have to attach them all together and then you twist. The, wall, the wires are connected and also with the other one. Okay, you do it like this. That's a cross position and you twist the wires. It would look like this. Okay, and then use your electrical tape to cover this pair wires here to protect you from the heating effect coming from the source. And also, it is necessary for you to cover also this one with electrical tape, the, the screws here, that is much better. So let's cover this one and this one with electrical tape. And then you use your scissor for this. Just a small cut. Okay, so it's already connected and then covered with electrical tape. Put the bulbs there on the respective lamp bulbs or lamp holder. So it's time to put now our batteries, our loads for the bulbs to function. So, okay, and now it is functioning. So that is our series circuit design. So the disadvantage of this series circuit design is that if you remove the other bulb here or if the bulb here is broken, the other bulb will not function anymore. So for example, let's remove the other one here. Okay, so if you remove the other bulb is not functioning anymore because connecting wire here has a gap that causes the electrons or the streak the electrons from not flowing to the other side. So if you put it this one, it will glow because there is a metal connected here through the lamp, the lamp bulb. 
so that the electrons can flow freely going to the other side and then going back to the source and then repeating over and over again okay so that is our series circuit design with two logos okay so next one is how to put a switch or how to install a switch on this kind of circuit so let's do this all right so for this activity so we're done already with our series circuit design and now the next thing that we're going to do is to how to put a switch on the entire circuit we remove the wall to bulbs there first that the, everything is um, easy for you to to do when you have the switch you have to uh, unscrew first the, the screws here so you can see there are screws here yeah that one the screws It's already done okay so we have the switch already unscrewed so as you can see on the switch on our switch there is an on and off button here so you have here your battery holder with the loads remove it's either one of these okay you, you can use this one or you can also use this one so at this moment we will use this one but it depends on your choice if you want to use the switch to this part or to this part so let's remove again the cover here so that one okay so as you can see they are being disconnected okay so what you're going to do is to um, use the wires here, the strip wires here, connected to the off portion of the switch. As you can see, there are two screws here. The other one is intended for the off portion, and also the other one is intended for the on portion of the the switch. So the wires coming from or the wires coming from your battery will be attached to the off button here and the wires here should be attached to the on button here okay so let's connect them the wires coming from the battery to the off button here or to your switch so first thing first is that you have to unscrew this one so that the wire will fit So as you can see, the wire here from the battery is connected to the off portion of the, the switch and the wire connecting to your lamp bulb is connected to the on part. So after that thing, you have to cover this with the cover plastic. Okay, put back the screw. Alright, so we're done. It will restrict 
the flow of electrons when you press the off button and it will um, allow the electrons to flow if you turn on the on portion of the switch so let's turn it off and then we put back the love bulbs through their bulb holders So this is your entire series circuit design using a switch. You have the loads there or the loads here and your, your bulbs there, the connecting wires, the switch to restrict and allow the electrons to flow to function or to make your, your bulbs function. So let's turn the switch on. Okay, so as you can see, they are functioning. So again, the disadvantage of this series circuit is that if you remove the other bulb the other one will not function so this is your series circuit design thank you